Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin flower coaster and I'm going to be using the Let's Resin resin today. I had never used the Let's Resin epoxy resin before, so I was really excited to try it. Um, I did go ahead and mix up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how I mix my resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step by step how to mix your resin and your pigments. So here are my, this is my mold. I'm just going to be making one coaster because I was trying something different today. I dropped down a little bit of clear and I'm going to give that a tilt in the bottom of my mold and then we're going to go in with pigments and I am going to be using mostly pigments today. Um, this is a magenta blue by Lorez. You can get it from Laura's Art Corner. It's a really gorgeous uh, kind of color shifting magenta blue pigment. And on this piece, I wanted to use more pigments than more clear. When I make my flower coasters, I usually use a lot of clear, but I wanted to see what would happen if I used more pigments than clear resin. And then I just went in with some blue interference mica powder. Um, this one is from Let's Resin. It comes in a set of six different colors. I'll link I'll link it down below. I'll link all the materials I'm using down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. And now I'm just going to go in and add my white. I'm using Angel White Epoxy Paste, just doing a little cinnamon roll swirl. And I'm going to let this sit for five minutes. Here we are five minutes later. Now we're going to go in and draw our flower petals. And when I do this, I like to think of a face of a clock. So I'll do 12 o'clock six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, and then split the difference in between those petals. And then I go in from the center and draw a line going out on each of those petals that I made. And that's pretty much it. Super simple and easy to do. I'm going to do one little swirl in the center of my coaster. And I did have some rainbow bright glitter left over from another piece that I was working on so I did add a tiny bit to the center of this and that was it. I just covered it up, let it dry for 24 hours and here we are ready to demold it. This turned out so much different than I was expecting. I was expecting it to look more like a flower. Um, I'm not crazy about the underside of this one. It reminds me of a dragon fruit, but I really do like the top side and I like these colors together. I really, really like the crackle textured look that I got on this piece. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you give this a try. Um, it wasn't what I was going for, but it still ended up turning out really pretty. And I did like working with the Let's Resin Epoxy. Um, it had hardly any bubbles and a really nice long working time. So I am going to have to experiment a little bit more with the flower technique with that resin. Um, just because the working time is longer, I'm going to have to work on timing it a little bit um, to kind of time when I draw my flower petals and everything like that. But let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye guys.